This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. This presentation will deal with the changes we've made to the simulation. If we start by looking at the internal simulation, we can see here on the configure dialog we've added some options for scale factors. This is basically introducing a facet tolerance. So if we look at the areas indicated in the material in the simulation, we'll see that with a solid tolerance scale factor of 1, they're quite faceted. We actually now look at changing that scale factor down to 0.1. We can see how the quality in the indicated areas has improved. We've also introduced solid tool holder collision detection. So we can see that when the solid tool holder clashes with a fixture or a component, then we'll get an indication. If we now move on to the external simulator, we can see that we have now added support for solid tool holders, whereas before it was only supporting wireframe tool holders. In conjunction with the solid tool holder support, we have also introduced the collision detection so that we can see when we have a clash, the areas are clearly indicated. Let's have a demonstration now of these features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. Let's start by adding some tool paths to this solid. So I'm just going to feature extract the drillable holes out. So let's take these two holes here and let's add some machining to it. So I'm going to use a predefined machining style to the blind holes user layer so we can see that we now have our machining. Let's go and also open a machine configuration so we get that in the simulation. Here we have our whole machine. Now let's start by looking in our standard simulation. In the configure area we can see that I have the default tolerance scale factor and the solid tolerance scale factor. So let's start by looking at this value with it set to 1. If I activate the solid simulation, we can see we have these faceted areas as indicated previously. So let's go and change the configuration on this and we'll change this to 0 0.1. Let's say OK to that. And we can now see the quality on that has improved. Let's now run the simulation. If I look in the configure area again, I have it set to stop when clash detected and the clash color will be indicated in red. So we say OK. Let's run the solid simulation. We can see that our machining starts. And we come over and we now get a stop. And it's not clearly indicated on the component at the moment because the tool holder is actually in the way but we can see it has stopped because of the clash. So if we continue through the simulation it will finish it and now we get a very obvious indication of the clash that has occurred. Now let's look at the same part within the external simulator. If I go to view and go to center simulator We can now run the simulation and we get to see the machining taking place. And now when we get the clash, the tool as we can see, or the tool holder that has clashed, has gone red. And if we finish the simulation, we get to see it remains red so we know which part has clashed.